What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up and use Magic USB by Jose Gonzalez. Now this was released back in April, but unfortunately I was away on a holiday at the time and I kind of missed this. So it's better late than never, I guess. But this is definitely a better way of jailbreaking the PS4 using a USB drive than the traditional method. Now the traditional method is obviously writing the hacked image to the USB which works, but the issue is that it stops the USB drive from functioning normally. So you can't put files on it or use it as a normal USB drive. You can only use it to jailbreak the PS4. And of course, the other problem is the fact that if you accidentally leave the USB drive plugged in after loading the jailbreak, then if you ever restart the PS4, then it will run into a boot loop issue or potentially it will just crash. And when it tries to reboot, it will go into the safe mode and do the recovery check which can make it take longer to boot up again. So those are the two main issues with the traditional method of exploiting the system using a USB drive. The magic USB method fixes both of those issues so that you can leave the USB drive plugged in, reboot the PS4 and it will be fine. And also you can of course use the USB drive as a normal functioning USB stick where you can put files on it, install package files with it, whatever you want to do. Plus it will also still work to jailbreak the PS4. So definitely a lot better. Obviously the best thing to do is to use something like an ESP32-S2 chip or a Raspberry Pi Pico chip that can inject the USB payload automatically so you don't have to keep plugging in a USB and unplugging it every single time you want to load the jailbreak. I've covered that obviously in previous videos. I'll leave them down in the video description and in the cards in the top right hand corner if you want to check out any of those methods. But if you're still using a USB drive to exploit the PS4, then this is a better way of going about it here. So let's get into this. What you want to do is obviously plug in your USB drive into your computer. And if your USB drive still has the XFAT hack on it, so it's not a functioning USB drive right now, first thing we need to do is remove that and reset the USB drive back to normal. Okay, so the method to reset the USB drive that seems to work the best for the majority of people is to do it through command prompt. So if we open up the start menu and type in CMD, and then right click and run it as administrator. And then from here, what you want to do, first of all, type in disk mgmt.msc and hit enter. That should open up disk management. Now from here, if we scroll down, you can see I've got the USB drive plugged in here. It's not showing up as formatted, but you can see it's disk number five. So what we're going to do is reset it using disk part in command prompt by typing in disk part one word and hitting enter. And then we'll get a prompt and we're going to type in list disk, which will list all the disks on the computer. And you can see disk number five is the one that we want. That's our USB drive. So I'm going to type in select disk five and hit enter. Disk five is now selected. And then I'm just going to type in the word clean and hit enter. And that is going to completely clean that drive. And that is the best way, in my opinion, to reset the drive back to normal because you can try deleting the volume and, and reformatting it in disk management, but sometimes you can run into errors. So that's the best way to do it. That will reset your USB drive back to an unformatted drive. So now let's look at actually setting up Magic USB. So you want to first of all go to the jailbreak release for 9.00 by Chap on GitHub, and you want to download the xfat hack pico.img. Just click on it to download it. Once that's downloaded, you also want to go to Rufus, so Rufus.ie. All the download links will be in the description, of course. And you want to scroll down and just download the Rufus portable version right here and download that. You also want to download the Magic USB by Jose Gonzalez. He does say make a backup of your PS4 before using it. That's just a general disclaimer he seems to use for pretty much everything that he releases. So I've not made a backup. I don't think it's necessary, but you know, that there is a disclaimer there just in case. Um, so, you know, you can back up your system if you want to, just to be safe, but I don't think it's necessary. And yeah, if we just go to the download link here on Mediafire and download it to your computer. Okay, so once you have all three of those things downloaded, we're gonna open up Magic USB, the zip file, and extract the Magic USB folder to your desktop, as you can see right there. Then we're gonna run Rufus. So we can right click, run it as administrator, I suppose. And then from here, we're going to list USB hard drives just in case you're using like an external hard drive or something and it's not showing up. So select your USB drive in the device list 
and then select the ISO image, which is going to be our XFAT hack image right here that we're going to select. So we're going to select the underscore Pico one, which is the much smaller version. So we're going to select that image file and then we're going to go ahead and click start and click OK. And that should format it and set it up correctly. And again, this only takes a few seconds. OK, so now we have the XFAT hack loaded onto the USB drive just as normal. Now we get into the kind of weird stuff. So the next thing we want to do is open up the disk management again. So again, I'm going to go to CMD and hit enter. And then I'm going to type in diskmgmt.msc to take me back to disk management. And then from here, we're going to scroll down to the bottom and it says it's unallocated right now. And what we're going to do is just format this. So we're going to right click, create a new simple volume, click next, click next again, and then assign whatever drive letter we want. We want to change the file system to XFAT and then we'll call it whatever we want. So I'll just call it USB perform a quick format and click next and then finish and that will format the drive back into a working drive again so there we go the drive is now working okay so here's how we set up magic usb right here so what we're going to do is again open up that usb drive that's now showing up here and currently there's nothing displaying in here but there is actually a hidden system volume folder inside here that we're going to replace so we're going to open up the magic usb folder and in here we have system volume information. We're going to copy that folder into the root of the USB drive and you'll see it should pop up saying that the destination has two files with the same name and you want to say replace files in destination and that will overwrite the system volume information with the one from Magic USB. So let's for example take a package file like Minecraft and put that on there so that I can show here that it's still working as a functioning USB drive. So we'll eject that USB drive and we'll use it here to try and exploit the PS4 as normal. So now we can just go to any exploit host that you would normally use. So we'll use caro218.ir and head to that website. Okay, and then from here, I'll just do one of the manual hosts like 9.00cm. And then we'll try and load gold hen version 2.2.2. Okay, there we go. It says insert the USB drive now. So I'll insert the USB. Now, one of the differences here is that it does not pop up with that notification saying unrecognized USB. So hopefully if you have a little LED on the USB drive that flashes, then you just need to wait for it to start flashing for a few seconds and then click OK. If you don't have any kind of indication on the read and write of the USB, then you can just wait, say, 5, 10 seconds and then click OK. So that should be long enough there. There we go, jailbreak done, remove the USB from the PS4. And there we go, gold hen has been loaded. But as you can see there, you don't get the notification. So you just wait a few seconds, click OK, and you should be good. I haven't unplugged the USB drive either because you don't have to. With Magic USB, you can restart the PS4 and it will not crash or cause any issues. Still having the USB drive connected. As you can see here, if I head into settings and I go to gold hen package installer, you can see my Minecraft package file showing up that's on the USB drive. We can install it. You can see that we have no issues using the USB drive. Now, it's also part of the installation instructions to remove the system volume folder off the USB drive from the PS4 itself. Not entirely sure why that's uh, on the instructions, but we'll do it anyway. So we can use PS4 Explorer or you can use FTP to connect to the PS4. I'll just use PS4 Explorer. Uh, either way, you just want to be able to access the file system of your PS4 from the PS4 itself or from your computer using FTP. And then we're going to head down to MNT folder. And then from there, we're going to go to USB 0 and then take that system volume information, press triangle and go down to delete to delete it. And there we go. That's now gone. So the final step here is to reconnect the USB drive back up to the computer and reformat it again. So once you have it plugged into the computer, right click on it and go to format and select XFAT as the file system and click start. And the reason we're doing this is to let Windows create a new system volume information folder on the drive. So it's back to like a stock working drive. However, this time it should also still work to jailbreak the PS4. 
And now that we've done that, I'll copy Minecraft back over again so that we have a package file to install to show that the USB drive is still working. So I've tried this on two USB drives so far, a USB 2 USB stick and a USB 3 external hard drive, and it's worked fine as long as I followed these exact steps step by step. You don't want to be messing around with the USB drive in between steps, uh, so I wouldn't actually recommend copying a package file like I did earlier. Um, you shouldn't really do that. You should only do that once you finish the final step. So yeah, if you do all the steps correctly, it should work, but your mileage may vary depending on your USB stick and USB drive, because I have heard that some people have had issues, but following these exact steps, you have a good chance of getting this working here. So now that we have the Magic USB all set up and ready, let's go ahead and test it on the PS4 now to make sure that it can still successfully run the exploit, as well as it also allowing us to still use the USB drive as a functioning drive to install the package file we put on there and make sure that it doesn't crash the PS4 when we reboot the PS4 with the USB drive still plugged in, fixing all the problems from the older uh, method of exploiting the system using a USB stick. So let's go ahead and give this a try. So let's go ahead and reboot and test it again. So power off, we'll restart the PS4. I'll keep the USB drive plugged in here. Obviously it's not really gonna be, in fact, I'll probably record this with the camera so that you guys can see it properly, uh, that it's not going to crash or cause any issues rebooting. So yeah, you can see there it's shutting down no problem. It's going to reboot back into the OS without any issues. Whereas normally, if you use the normal XFAT hack image that's flashed onto the USB, where the USB isn't recognized, if you leave that plugged into the PS4, then when you reboot the system, it normally crashes and requires you to go into like safe mode and do a recovery check before it boots back into the PS4 OS. That's why you, that's why the exploit hosts always tell you to unplug the USB after the jailbreak's loaded so that you don't run into that problem but you do not have that problem here with magic usb you can still have the usb drive plugged in and as you can see it reboots works no problem so that's another handy feature of this so so now that we're booted back into the ps4 os i'm going to delete minecraft go back onto the internet browser go back onto that exploit host again and we'll head to gold hen we'll try and run it a second time this time, again, we've deleted the system volume information, but I just want to show you that the USB still works here. Okay, so I unplugged the USB, plugged it back in. It's now flashing, indicating that the it's reading or writing. And there we go. So I just wait a few seconds, click OK. There we go, jailbreak done. Gold hen loaded. And voila, we are up and running again with the exploit. Yeah, anyway, either way, it's a much better way of using the hack on the USB drive. You can exploit your PS4 on 9.00 to load the jailbreak, but still use the USB drive to do other things with. You know, put files on the USB drive, install them with the debug settings, with a package installer, um, or do whatever else you want to do with that USB while still having it being used to exploit the PS4. And also being able to leave the USB drive plugged in and reboot the PS4 without any negative effects. That is also a handy little bonus. So yeah, big thanks to obviously Jose Gonzalez who's done some great work with the PS4. I feel like he doesn't get enough recognition for some of the stuff that he does. But uh, I think people are taking note of him more now, which is good. But uh, yeah, this is really awesome. So hope you guys enjoyed it or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.